Good morning, Grace Church. As, path, as Pastor Jonathan said, my name is Peyton Melvin. I am 16 years old. I'm here today to tell the story how the gospel of Jesus Christ came into my life. The gospel is a story of how humans were sinners with no hope until God sent Jesus to die on the cross for us. I did not grow up in a Christian home. My childhood was rough. My parents struggled with alcohol and drug addiction, uh, drug addiction and my dad was in and out of prison. I moved a lot, nowhere felt like home. I felt alone. This all changed since my dad's release from prison in 2020, and I moved in with him. I feel like I knew about God, but not about Jesus, and never had a real relationship with him until September of 2023. I had been living with my dad for a couple years by time, and I really saw how he changed. He kept telling me it was all because of Jesus. He sent me scriptures every day and continued to, the, to continue to share the gospel with me faithfully. One day that September, I finally let go of my doubts and accepted the Lord's love and grace into my life and got saved. Amen. Amen. At a certain point. Amen. Amen. At a certain point last year into this one, I started struggling severely with anxiety, depression, and especially social anxiety. I stopped going to school and soon me and my family had truancy court. I stopped leaving the house completely. This slowly progressed until my anxiety became so bad that I believed I was dying. I thought many things were wrong with me, included something was in my throat or I was choking on something, and that became, I became scared to eat, and I got all the way down to 105 pounds. I became so weak and ill that I could barely get off the couch, and in fact, I did nothing but lay on the couch for months. Finally, my dad took me to the ER and admitted me for failure to thrive. After a few days, I had to get a feeding tube because I still couldn't eat. I went seven days without eating and anything, seven days without any eating anything and barely drinking anything. I was there for eight days. While I was there, Pastor Jonathan came to visit me a few times. He knew exactly how I was feeling. He prayed with me, studied some verses of scriptures, and according to God's word, we cast away our anxieties in First P verse Peter one seven five seven five seven. Cast all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. I had a complete spiritual experience and knew that God was working. I started to eat again, and they let me go home from the hospital. I gained my weight back, and since then I have been working towards going back to school full time. I'm the happiest I've ever been in my life, and I started to come to church with my dad. Praise God. Amen. Now I pray every day and I share the gospel with my friends and family. And if you don't, if you haven't started a relationship with Jesus Christ, I encourage you to do so today. Come on, man. Come on. My brother, I am moved. I remember when we were in the hospital. I remember when you prayed and you were asking God to help you with this. And I remember how you started eating. And I remember how God is working in your heart even today. This young man asked me for discipleship. He wants to follow the Lord Jesus Christ, not just in word, but in action. And based on your testimony, my brother, I want to ask you one more time. Are you 100% confident of the work the Lord Jesus Christ has done on your behalf and you've received it? Most definitely. As am I, my brother. It is my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, buried in the likeness of his death, raised in the likeness of his resurrection. Congratulations! Congratulations! Amen.